my dear children of class 11 today i am going to teach you the second chapter of your snapshot the address by marga minko it's a short story from your snapshot now this story is actually a poignant account of a doctor who goes in search of her mother's belongings after the war in holland now this war is actually the war second world war okay the destructive or the catastrophic effect of second world war the story has been set on the aftermath of the catastrophic second world war now the, by the end of the war in 1945 some 60 lakh jews who were staying in germany and other territories occupied by the german nazi forces had been killed systematically led by adolf hitler something which is known as holocaust and other like minded germans had considered the jews as inferior as enemies as threat to the german society and robbed them of all human rights they put them in confinement and at the center known as ghettos and then to the concentration camp when the war ended in 1945 some of the jews got liberated from the concentration camp now the narrator in this story is unmistakably such a survivor of the concentration camps now here we learn the intricate emotions of humans like trust faith hope betrayal as well as the ill effects of war now let me introduce you with the characters here of the story mrs s mother of the narrator who believes in faith trust and hope the narrator is a brave girl ready to face challenges of life all kinds of adversities of life and the survivor of the holocaust attached to her mother's possessions next mrs dolling who is a former acquaintance of Mrs S she is very rude selfish cunning and greedy woman then comes Mrs Dolling's daughter she is of simple natured good and hospitable as well and in course of reading the chapter we shall come to know about each and every aspect of their characters now the story gives an account of the chaos which follows war we see children that what it does to humans and their behavior you can feel the pain grief and mental torments which the survivors of war have to undergo it's about the author's story who is a jew and returns to a native home post war after suffering many losses she even loses her mother so she doesn't have anybody in this world father it is about how she handles the world alone after going through so much torments and atrocity Moreover we learn about the world's cruelty towards the oppressed Now upon suffering from father oppression she realizes a lesson in a tough way that means a narrator analyzes it She comes to realize that nothing is kept in materialistic things and she gives everything up thus it shows about 
human pain inflicted upon and self actualization so the striking feature of this story is the sheer ease okay with which the author has portrayed a multitude of emotions right from betrayal to melancholy and everything in between now marco mingo reiterates the fact that dwelling in the past only ends up adding to the emotional turmoil a person might be going through in his or her life now when we read the story we shall come across all these things with ample evidence now let's start the chapter do you still know me i asked i here stands for the narrator do you still know me the woman looked at me searchingly who is the woman mrs dolling she had opened the door a chink she opened the door a little bit and i can closure and stood on the step i here is always a narrator it is written in the first person narrative no i don't know you deliberately she said no i don't know you then the narrator introduced herself that i am mrs s's daughter she held her hand on the door as though she wanted to prevent it opening any further that means deliberately mrs dolling wanted to avoid the daughter of a former acquaintance mrs s her face gave absolutely no sign of recognition so what a strange thing she kept staring at me in silence she here means mrs dolling i had already mentioned that she is rude selfish cunning and greedy and she was the former acquaintance of mrs s and mrs s daughter had come after the holocaust surviving after suffering tremendous torments both mental physical and financial even after that mrs dolling did not want to recognize her so this cruel society is highlighted here the atrocity is highlighted here she should have helped her instead she pretended rather feigned not to recognize her perhaps i was mistaken i thought perhaps it isn't her now mrs a's daughter thought that she had mistaken she was perplexed so it isn't her she thought i had seen her only once fleetingly and that was years ago because mrs s's daughter had seen her only once and the memories of the narrator bygone days come to light here the narrator had a fleeting glimpse of mrs dolling's face so she thought that she had mistaken the woman let go of the door and stepped to the side she was wearing my mother's green knitted cardigan now the narrator remembered the green knitted cardigan and she could well understand and was dead sure that she was mrs dolling otherwise she could not wear that mother's green knitted cardigan the wooden buttons were rather pale from washing she saw that i was looking at the cardigan and half hid herself again behind the door but i knew now that i was right well you knew my mother i asked again the narrator asked whether she knew her mother then she said that is mrs dolling replied have you come back said the woman i thought that no one had come back only me that means she wanted that no one had come back okay up to this in the next video the rest of the portion will be continued
Thank you, children, and that's all for today.